Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading for the month of April 2020. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in. And today I have a special treat for you because I am going to combine the Lenormand and the Tarot. So you can see how both methods work amazing together but also um, how the difference is in the messages you get with the different methods. Um, I know I am a bit late for these readings, it's already April, but I was working on the website, so if you want your own personal reading or you want to know more about the different methods, um, just go to my website, it's uh, www.avalonrituals.com all the infos in the box below <laughs> and if you subscribe to the newsletter you will get a 10% uh, coupon you say a coupon a voucher so um, if you want to book a reading through the website you can get 10% off your first reading if you like so that's why I'm a bit late um, I'm gonna start with the reading in a minute roundabout so if you would like to go directly to your reading just skip to 2 minutes 30 or 3 minutes in this video that's where you will see your cards and where we will start with the reading I'm gonna start with the Linamore putting the tarot on top of that at the end of the reading of the Linamore and I'm gonna start to this whole experience now <laughs> with the singing bowl um, so if you would like to receive some relaxation, healing energies, if you like, close your eyes, take a deep breath in your belly, and exhale. Okay, so Capricorn, uh, what I need to say first is that uh, you are in this card deck reading as well. So no matter of your gender, you are indicated here by the woman, while your love interest, no matter of their gender, is indicated here by the um, male person. And that's the first thing that is very, very obvious here, that the two of you and not in this reading here, but you are on the last four cards. So that's basically, you could say, a headline or a topic of the reading as well. And there is something with your love interest. Um, there is a painful situation between you guys. Maybe something needs to be let go of. And it's a tricky situation here. And there are complications and delays. This can indicate also another woman don't have to but can be also could be a mother figure or as i've said just then for complications delays in a situation um so yeah i mean when i laid this out i already felt like well this is quite an intense month for you guys so there seems to be something with your partner where there are wounds or pain or um, where you have to be a bit mindful not to really suddenly hurt each other, um, as this is what is between you. Also, when we now go up to the cards here, uh, we see 
because if this is the headline, this is basically what is written below the headline or the title. And there are some, there could be secrets of something that is not known, uh, something that is hidden, um, communication about this. So um, communication, heated arguments um, about also with the fox, where the fox is always asking, is this right, is this wrong, or is someone taking advantage of me, am I taking advantage of someone else, um, am I getting um, out of the situation what I want to get out, is someone else trying to get the best out of the situation, these are the topics with the fox. So it's a tricky situation and there are some arguments here, and I guess this is why we have this here as well with the scythe. Um, this is why I do really want to focus on, on love and on the two of you in this reading. Um, I can see that, uh, let's, let's see, where are we going to start now? Let's start, about, start with love. Um, there are blockages. There are blockages, something that is nagging on you. We have this fox situation here related to your emotional life. So just keep in mind what I just said about the fox. There are fears and unclarities, things are not certain, you can't really see things clear, uh, something is nagging on you, maybe the fear of a loss, um, then we have the blockage here. With the, with the clover, it means um, the clover is always luck, so it's, it's nice that you have a little bit of luck on your side here as well. It seems like there's going to be a solution, a key moment, when it comes to A, your strength your self-worth um, and it feels like you can really trust that and that you trust your own strength and self-worth. It could also mean that this is a male person, an older male person, so there could be a key moment with an older male person or a person in authority, someone who's very dominant, uh, an older person, um, which could be a friend or it relates to the topic of loyalty and trust here. Um, if I now follow the heart, I see there is a positive change coming. A positive change related to... Um, the positive change will bring new harmony, uh, a new balance. Um, this can also relate or refer to sexuality or family. So it might be that there in your emotional life might also be a positive change in the matter of sexuality or family. Um, interestingly, I come directly to the owls, and the owls can, can indicate parents. So it might be that for some of you, there's a positive change in a family situation with your parents. If this is not about family and parents, um, it can be family, but it, this could also indicate stress. So this does not, this card does not need to represent parents, but can represent stress and nervousness. So a positive change in a, in a situation for, for the family where there is stress and nervousness, 19, 12, which relates again to the heart. So it seems like there's something really, you're really nervous, something is really like going to your heart, um, but there will be a positive change. So, okay, let's see. I want to look around the partnership. There is cl clarity coming into the partnership. Things were clear. Also, partnership means contract could mean contracts, especially here with the work. This is the card for work. So we have work contracts here, clarity, and um, they are under a good star uh, work contracts. But also, it could indicate the stability within a love relationship here. Um, there is something related to the public. There is a key moment related to this partnership. Again, partnership could be personal partnership or business partnership or other contracts. A positive, there is a uh, clarity coming in at a key moment through, uh, for a public situation which could also relate to your strength or to an older male person or someone in dominance, uh, someone in authority, could be a boss, could be let's say a lawyer, could be a doctor, could be someone in a company, um, something very official here. So there is a, a key moment and it feels like there is success in this situation for you. And on, on this side of the ring, we do have the partner, the law of interest. So 
but also the, um, the scythe. So usually what you would do is um, when, when you want to know when is the scythe bringing in the harvest and when is it shortening something, you want to see okay what is on the side on this side of the scythe. So it could mean that you bring in the harvest, you gain a partner, but there's something that is shortened for you or need to be let go of on, on your side. That could be an interpretation of this here as well. But it doesn't need to be. It can literally also just be that between you guys, there are sometimes really like, uh, yeah, something that comes in like really quick and sudden and that might be painful. Um, also, let's see what you guys are thinking about. Uh, both of you, bottom reading, which means um, you are carrying a lot. Uh, let's start with you. So, there is a situation, this could relate to work or being seen and recognized, which could relate to the relationship. Uh, being seen and being recognized or success at work. There's something about the topic of trust and loyalty. Uh, something is blocked. So it could be that the trust is blocked or a friendship is blocked. Um, and also we have the mice here which are indicating worries or the fear of loss. But also the mice could take away the mountain. They are nibbling at the mountain. So it might be that blockages are getting smaller. What's he thinking about? Remember, he can be a she as well. It doesn't matter uh, the gender here. This is your law of interest. So he or she is thinking about a partnership, contract, a partnership, a solution, luck in a tricky situation. So it seems like he is very solution-oriented here. How to resolve a tricky situation which again can be work, can be love, both sides here for you guys, could be both. Uh, if I now follow your path, which I feel like is um, important before we then go to the tarot, I see here's the topic of success, of um, business success, but also being seen. Uh, it's also deep emotions, the psyche. Um, and we have the sun card here. So it seems like, uh, and that could be the positive change happening here, that you are finally being seen and recognized and respected. There is a lot of luck and happiness and a lot of energy shining onto the topics of the moon. And this is leading to the ship, which is, of course, a journey. Um, so it might be that there is a journey that you're planning. This can also relate to business. Uh, with people who are not in your immediate environment. For me, this is also the card of maybe doing business online with people who are far away. Um, this is the card for the, um, uh, how do you say this in English? Um, not for your own country. Uh, for, yeah, it's foreign, foreign countries, right? <laughs> so, um, it might be that this is business related or that you're actually thinking about taking a journey um, let's see, this is leading to the fox, so that, yeah, but still, it's tricky with the whole traveling and the business. Um, let's see, where is it going? And this is a little bit tricky for your life now, so the whole journeying or business or movement that is at the moment a little bit tricky is also tricky for your life here. And it seems like this is eating away on you. Like, um, it feels like you're really worrying. And like I said, you carry a lot on your shoulders at the moment. And there's something really nagging on you in your uh, immediate environment, which can be your house, your flat you're living in, could be your family, could be your close social circle. And um, there are clouds on, on, the, on the topic of the house. So the clouds are... Um, basically saying there are things that are not certain or that maybe there are some fears related to your home life, your house, your immediate environment, your family. Going now to the, um, to the cross, which is always a life lesson or karma, um, in the house of the clouds, it seems like you are working through a life lesson, like these clouds, um, 
the fears, the worries, um, I just feel like this is all part of a, of a big life lesson for you. And also the complication and delays, which is in the house of karma. Or if this is another woman for you guys, or for some of you, this is a karmic situation. So this is not just like, oh, poor me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe poor you. But it is a karmic situation. So you, you need to experience this. Um, again, this can, it doesn't need to be another woman. It could be just the matter of uh, complications and delays. Also, um, here, that is really interesting because I had this a couple of times that it feels like in the month of April, there is something like, like something is stuck, but something is also moving, which is really interesting because it's like, what's going to happen in, in April? Are we able to move out of self-isolating? Are we moving again or are we still stuck? And I had this in the German channel and now in... Uh, and this as well that I felt like they are opposite um, there are two things kind of like happening and I can't really I don't really know what it is but I do see that the the coffin which means a a transformation or a, a, an, a stalemate like the complications and delays or the situation with the other woman whatever fits for you um, it is a little bit stuck so it's not really moving forward but this can also indicate that this is transforming. It is in the processes of transformation. And then we have the rider next to it. So this is about movement. The rider, this is about movement. He's bringing in a message. He's bringing in action. This is the card of Mars. It's like now you're active. Now you can do something. Now you can go somewhere. You can go somewhere. You can be active. You can go out and you can be social. So... Um, that is that is the that is the card of the rider, but um, it's also in the house of the being stuck, um, which feels like ah, they, they, it does feel like there is a change, there is a transformation coming. Some things might still be a bit stuck, but also something is really moving forward, and we come here now to information, something that was hidden, but this. Is leading to the star and the star means clarity and since the star now is in the house of the book it seems like something that was hidden from you or some information that you're going to gain will bring in clarity and a new beginning a new beginning there will be new clarity um, with the mountain in the house of new beginning you see guys this is what I mean it's like, ah, clarity, new beginning. Oh, wait, new beginning is blocked. It's like, what's going on? It's super, super weird. I get this, as I've said, the whole time. Uh, and you know what I would like to do now? I want to pull the tarot. Let's let the tarot help us. If you resonate with the reading, please leave, of course, a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel. Also, um, oh, wow, no, no, <laughs> that was just me. That was me not being able to shuffle because there were quite a lot of cards. Um, I do take cards that jump out when I feel like, uh, yeah, this one wants to come out. I do do this, but not when I feel like that was just me not being able to shuffle. So yeah, uh, if you resonate with the reading, just please um, give me an explanation how this fits for you and if you know what this is about. So really happy to uh, receive your feedback. Eight of Pentacles. This is about a steady progress and process in working on something. You're very focused on building up some stability here, some security. Uh, which is really great. Um, there are some worries and doubts. Interestingly, we have now nine and nine card of or number of completion. So um, it, yeah, it does look like you're building up something. You're very focused on earth, on work, on whatever it is that you really want to manifest. But there are also some doubts. But with the Sun card here, I do feel like they will clear. So there, 
Yeah, there, there is something that will clear. You will gain, yeah, again, you will gain new clarity. There's a new beginning, positive change. The Sun card also here about being seen, being recognized, financial success, um, business success. So this is all here. We also have the Tower here. So this is interesting. So something seems to change radically. Um, maybe you're really thinking about new ways. What I want to say is that, interestingly, the tower here, which has a slightly different meaning, is in the house of decision, and it's also here in the decision, um, so they are connected. The tower here means being independent, being very, um, or isolating yourself, or a withdrawal, or a separation. Um, but um, also, as I've said, the feeling of being alone and isolated, or you being independent. Um, the tower in, in this deck here is more like uh, suddenly something is happening and you need to rethink. You really need to rethink. And you're moving away from something. So, hmm, okay. So you're moving away from something that once was emotionally fulfilling, but you're moving away from something emotionally. And that might be this tower moment, like something unexpected that is happening. Could be related to the karmic situation here, could be, could be related to your love life. Uh, with the two of wands, I see this is the decision. This is a decision. Make a decision. You have the world in front of you. Well, at the moment, you can't really go into the world, but it's like, okay, well, what do I want to go from here? Um, making a decision, embracing the unknown, um, going, yeah, moving ahead. The Five of Pentacles talks about um, being left outside in the cold, uh, the warmth not really reaching you. Um, it's like the in the right away tarot there are two people out in the in the cold in the snow and they don't have a house or anything and in the back there is a house with a beautiful um, with a beautiful window and you can see there is warmth in the house there is friendliness in the house but it's not reaching them they are outside they are being left outside and that's the energy of the five of pentacles so there is a situation and that can very well refer to the tower where it's like okay suddenly a, this is a card of a plot twist where you're like oh i didn't expect this to happen um this is also a card of going down uh, like back to the foundation and rethinking what you want to build on this can very well be now uh, related to work really rethinking like okay go back to the basics everything has changed this can very well also relate to the situation in the world where something radically is going to change the old ways are not working anymore and now it's like okay uh something is not coming to me i really need to rethink make a decision embrace the unknown now and uh, move away from something and and change something and build something here So you might be involved with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, also, this is a person who's very like the big picture, very uplifting, positive, inspiring uh, projects um, to do. Uh, so that could very well be a um, someone from work you're doing something with together. Um, also with the Page of Swords we have. Uh, ideas coming in and I do feel like there's a new planning it's like see the big picture and plan there are insights coming in there are um, ideas coming in you will feel inspired you will feel enthusiastic about something new coming in you just need to put them into into your new ideas put them into a plan which is I feel what you do here and yeah, maybe there is the king of wands, either in your love life or in your um, work life, who's helping you as an ally. Could be both, of course. Okay, what messages do we have for Capricorn? And there we go. This is the new beginning. This is new stability. 
an opportunity given by the divine to create something new, to create new stability, to maybe start a new work, uh, to start a new project, um, to manifest now what you what it is that you want to manifest. And we do have the next card here that says the same thing. So this can also be an earth sign. Um, also, the pages could be younger people, this could be a, an air sign. Pages can be younger people, don't have to. Uh, it could be in, in something coming in again and those two cards have a similar energy. So there might be an impulse coming in from the outside that is helping you to really start something new in your life and to really build something new here. And I do feel like for the most of you, the clarifying cards here are more related to, to business and to finances and building something up. It could, of course, always translate to a love relationship. Just let me know what resonates here with you. And um, I think that's it. Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Um, check out the website. Get, subscribe to the newsletter, get the 10% off your per, uh, first order and um, have a lovely day. <laughs> See you next time.